Hi, this is the Race Timer software demo. Um, first screen you're going to get after you install the software is your data key. Um, it's going to request a data key that you can get right here by clicking on this little icon. Uh, brings up this page, copy the access code, come back over to the screen, paste it in here, hit update key. That's going to then go out, grab all your data, and it's going to show your upcoming events. In my case, we have the Savage Gulf Marathon. It's a single distance event. I'm going to download the entrance. That's going to pull everyone down from the database. And it's going to show me that there are 72 people that have registered for the event. Uh, if you want to add some more people on race day, you can simply come up here to the gray gear, go to participants, add, key them in, hit save. That will add, add the people in. When you're ready to start your event, click on your start clock, and you'll see that it starts, uh, puts the start time and the clock, uh, the, the elapsed time down here. If you forget and you, uh, to start the clock and you need to make adjustments, you can start the clock and then single click on the start time, and this will pop up this change time dialog box. So we can go in and change this. We hit change, and you'll see that now it's 3 hours and 27 seconds, 28 seconds. Okay, uh, simple as that. When you're uh, ready to start recording runners come through, uh, go over to your little box over here on the far right side and start keying in the bibs. Okay, as you can see or hear, uh, it calls out the person's name, tells you where they're from, and their time. Okay, so it's really quite simple. If you key in a wrong bib found. number, it'll tell you that it's not found. If, uh, mm -hmm. if let's say you key someone in and it's uh, you accidentally keyed in the wrong number and you realize it, you can click on the gray X and it will clear them and put them back in the race. Okay, uh, so if I want to add Scott mm -hmm. back in, it'll call him back and it'll add him back in. So simple as that. Let's say we realize that um, we uh, keyed in the first one wrong. Well, you can do one of two things. You can double click on their record and just highlight their time and go 0000, zero, zero, zero and hit save. And that clears out his uh, information and adds him back into the race as well. And so I can go in and I can click on them and you'll see that it... Uh, uh, adds him back in the race. So um, really there are a couple ways. Is the last runner in is right here. Else find the person, whether that's double clicking on their record or using the search box here. Search box is really cool because you can type in either their bib, first name, or last name and quickly find the person. So um, keep that in mind when you're when you're using the system that there are a couple ways to do things. Okay. Now that we've recorded a few people, let's just go ahead and key in a few more and you can really key in fast um, it, it's really helpful to have a, uh, a helper calling out bib numbers but if you don't um, you know it'd be good to have a keyless uh, a tank key pad so you can key them in um, quick without um, uh, without having to sit behind a keyboard Okay, so when you're ready to start, uh, when you're ready to view the results, you can come down here to print results, and that will pop up the screen that allows you to view them in overall, by gender, by age group, and you can then take these and export it to Excel, PDF, Word, you can print these, so it's really, um, that is the meat and potatoes of the results. But um, one of the uh, additional fun features to use is the display results. And um, what you'll want to do is each time you want to display results, if let's say you have an external monitor that you can connect to your laptop, you could come in here, display results, hit view results. It pops up a browser window that then shows all your participants and where they place um, and and um, in what order they're in so that as you're timing the event, you don't have to worry about giving people all the information because they they do that um, throughout the event and it's it's distracting if you have to keep going back and forth. So by all means, get an extra external uh, monitor or TV, 
plug it into your laptop and pop this window up. It's really cool and it looks professional. Okay. Um, another thing is when you're ready to start publishing your results, um, click on the publish. Uh, you'll see there's a preliminary mode. That's kind of a, a good kind of sanity check to, to test. Um, you, you simply click publish, pop up prelim results, and that then publish or that then shows you your results on Ultra Sign Up, but kind of in a hidden page where people aren't able to see the results yet. And that kind of gives that gives you an, a, an idea how it's going to look when it actually gets published. OK, so um, the next thing you want to do uh, when you're when you're all set to publish, simply uncheck this, hit publish. And you'll then your results will then be published live on Ultra Sign Up, and, and it's very very easy. So you could you could in theory uh, click that publish button the moment that last person comes through the finish line, and your results will be all set and done. Okay. Um, one of the things I suggest is doing a data backup. If you have a thumb drive, it's it's kind of a good idea to do a local backup and put it on your thumb drive that file that file then can be used by us at ultra sign up to retrieve data in case of a catastrophic accident or failure with your laptop it's not common but i've seen it before um, uh, one other feature that's great is using the data backup but do a cloud backup and that basically archives your event on the in the cloud so that at any point in time we can go back and archive that uh, or we can access that archive um, on the cloud and so um, definitely a really cool resource to have you know you save your data and archive it for safe storage um, so that if anything happens we'll always have your data on on file okay um, if you have any questions whatsoever Feel free to call us. Our 800 number is up in the corner. We're here to help you. Please, please, please use us. Use the software. Enjoy it. And uh, you can thank us later. All right. Talk to you later. Bye-bye.